Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online and we are here with Thistledown and our beautiful new Morgan Horse Rose Stone. Look at her! Look at that beautiful hair! Oh my gosh, I love her! She is just so fantastic and I have been really good. I've only missed one day as you can tell from her happiness of coming in and taking care of her and it has been amazing you guys. I have been working hard to level her up. She is already to level 6 and there's just something about her. I love Melody, don't get me wrong, but Rose Stone... There's just a special connection we've got, so I'm really excited to go on all sorts of adventures with her to really be able to take her out, let her go and like go up tons of levels and win the races. And today we are actually going to work on the leveling her up just a little bit before we get back on the quest, because some of you guys have been requesting that we <laughs> quest requesting. Oh dear! But some of you guys have been requesting that we actually spend a little bit of time uh, going on the races, because you like to watch me race for some reason. <laughs> It's really painful if you ask me. Um, oh, and then the new stuff. New stuff, you guys. Look at the saddle. So you see this awesome, beautiful saddle. This is pretty much the only item that I have gotten worthy of note from the rainbow since you guys were last collecting rainbow gems with me. So we gathered up the rainbow gold and I managed to trade it in for this awesome saddle. I was really hoping to get the little clovers that we could put up by her head and I didn't manage to snag any of those. But we also got, let me see if I can find them. Did I get new boots? Was it these shoes? I think maybe... No, this is from May. That's my top. I think I got these pants, these black Fortuna pants, and they actually don't give me any kind of boost compared to my trousers, and uh, my trousers give me a boost, so we're going to keep the trousers on, but yeah, I think that was it, and then all of this food. <laughs> oh, and then we also got these sunglasses. Dun dun dun! There we go. I guess I might as well the sun wear might as well wear the sunglasses. But oh no, and I'm out of water. Okay. But let's go ahead. We're gonna get started on our day. Let's see, where is the well? I think it's hiding back here. Hello, Judy! We will be helping you on your quest in the future. Um darn, where is the well over here? Now that I think about it, it shouldn't be like too far away from where the horses are. Ah, there it is. <laughs> it was behind me the whole time. All right, I'm gonna go over and fill up on water. And we are gonna take care of Rose Stone. And Thistledown is actually having a grand old time sitting inside of, whoops, what am I doing? Grabbing the like hoof picker, waving it at the well, who knows? But Thistledown's having a grand old time. And thank you guys so much. Special shout out to you, you guys who have sent me the fan art of Thistledown eating berries inside of his little bag because it makes me so happy. And yes, I know he has like this little beat up bag, but I think it's okay for now because the new bags cost about 2,000 coins and we kind of need to focus on getting Rose Stone some awesome new gear. And also because... Um, Thistledown doesn't have the berry stains show when he eats his snacks and his berries when he is inside of like this older this older bag So I think that's why he actually prefers it because then like none of the the stains from what he does shows up And then the other thing we got was almost entirely just food from the leprechaun So or whatever he's called I forget what he's called But the good thing is that then we have lots of delicious carrots that we're able to give rose stone And I haven't had to buy any food for quite a while now so it's it's been fantastic. Oh, look at her. She's so happy. All right. We're wearing our sunglasses because I guess why not? Why not? Well, actually, I don't I don't want to wear the sunglasses. <laughs> I know that seems a little silly. I just don't want to. We'll probably put them away inside of our um, inside of our star stable stable in a little bit. All right, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on leveling Rose Stone up. She's actually doing really, really well. I've been trying to log on a little bit every day and spend some time with her, just being able to get her up some, some decent levels. And it went really quickly. I wasn't anticipating the way that she can actually go up like almost a level a day if I do all four of the races that I'm familiar with. But we'll go ahead and we're going to do this jump one. It is a short race in terms of how long it takes. Come on, Rose Stone. Oh gosh, we really need to look at some new gear for her too. So one of the things we might look into today, look how fast that horse is going. We'll get you there eventually, Rose Stone. One of the things we might do if we have some time is actually run by the mall because apparently there's a ton of great gear over at the mall and there's apparently a ton of gear that's actually available because of the Fortuna Festival, the Fortuna Parade that is going down. And I want to go see that, and it's over at Moreland, too. So I'll probably be looking into those things today. All right, go! Go, Rose Stone, go! Come on! All right, you've got this! It does not take long to do this one, either. 
And I actually find if you zigzag and avoid almost all of the jumps, it's, it's faster <laughs> than actually jumping. So I tend to avoid almost all of them. All right, go Rose Stone. You feel so slow today, but I know it's just because I watch all the other horses run by and they're so fast. All right, no, 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 ah, there we go. Good, 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 good. And see, dun, 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 oh, 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 ah, we almost had a personal best. All right, and I think you get like 250 experience for racing your horse on this particular track because then you have to haul bunny hunkers all the way back over to the Baroness. And I really like the Baroness, actually. I'm tempted. I'm actually tempted to go ahead and work on a little part of her quest, but I think I'm going to hold off on doing any of the quests until we go over and we work with our good old druid friend. Look at that poor flower doing its best to grow in the oil fields. Hang in there, little flower. I wonder if like one of the workers actually secretly loves that flower and like tries not to walk on it and tries not to let any of the machinery smush it. That would totally be me. That would totally be me. I would end up sabotaging the whole project <laughs> and getting myself fired. So, you know, you just, sometimes you just have to do what you have to do for money. But still. All right. Look at this house. Holy moly. You think she would have enough money to stop the oil drilling. All right. Oh, I probably shouldn't say that in front of her. Hello, Paradis. All right. And then there we go. Look at that. Look at that. So we have Silverglade Manor experience points um, or experience points. Reputation. Let's not run on the Baroness's grapes, though. And 250 experience points for Rose Stone, which is so fantastic. And now we're going to run over and we're going to do the horrible, awful, it's so painful to watch me, Mill Hill Race. Um, and, <laughs> and this may be the only time we really do one of these, like, let's watch Siri totally fail at running races sort of things. But it's something you guys have actually requested a lot. So I figured today, why not? We'll just focus on leveling Rose Stone up. Then we're going to go over and we are going to see what's going on with the Fortuna uh, events. And we might even go to the mall. Like I said, we might even go to the mall today if we're able to complete. Oh, actually, there's five races I do every day because I also do the pole weaving thing. And I've gotten a lot better at it, too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I actually do all five races every day that I can. And I haven't found very many rainbows recently. So I'm not sure how long the rainbow event goes on. I hope it wasn't just that one week. I hope we stumble on a couple of rainbows this week. Or like, yeah, because that would be so fun. I love the rainbows. It's probably one of the funnest things that we've done in Star Stable yet. Yeah. All right, Rostom, we're almost there. Oh, and there's a championship coming up in a little bit. Huh. Well, Rostone, I don't know about that, but we might go to the mall and we might check out what gear we can actually afford because I don't think we're really giving her any kind of decent boost with the current gear she has. And we've actually saved up quite a bit of money. Uh, the daily races actually really help just because it adds up. You may not think like 20, 20 Jorvik shillings are really going to add up, but they do over time. All right. Hello, Will. All right. See, he gives us 20 shillings and there would be 125 experience points for Rose Stone. And this is going to be one of the most painful things you guys are probably going to see today. But you can see my high score is getting better. We're up to a minute. Uh, like a, we're down to a minute and 46 seconds now. All right, let's do this, Rose Stone. Let's show everybody how good we've gotten and that we've learned to just avoid some of the weavy areas entirely. All right, and then... All right, I changed my mind, no! Oh my gosh, no! Oh, this is so humiliating! I was like, should I go left, should I go right? Should I jump, should I not jump? I overthought it. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. Why do I have to do that kind of stuff on camera? Oh dear. Oh well, Rose Stone. Oh. Are you supposed to be over there? I don't know if I recognize that guy. I'm sure I've seen him before. We have so many awesome quests to do. Oh, and we need to check on our quirky clock maker at some point. Oh, and we got friendship invites coming on in. All right, all right, all right, all right. Roastunt, Roastunt, wait, I, I changed my mind again. She's not the one shying away from the jumps. It's me. This is too painful to watch. Turn away, avert your eyes, guys. Ah, we'll go shopping today. Yeah, I want to do that. So we'll do some races and then we're going to go over to the mall and I want to do some shopping to see what we might be able to buy. And somebody told me, Siri, you should probably just like go around the whole thing. And I totally do now. <laughs> it hurts less <laughs> than trying to jump those. And then somebody else said that they also go around this, like they just avoid the whole thing by doing this. So I've started doing that, and believe it or not, it really helps me. <laughs> oh dear. 
All right, so those are some shortcuts I've uh, learned, and I've learned not to bother jumping over here. And then, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, go, Rosestone, go, 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 go. Did we, ah, oh, there we go. We were just like a few points of a second short of a personal best, even though I crashed us into a fence. I think she's very patient. She's, she's very young and patient with me. All right, look at her go. All right, and then we call for a pickup. We're gonna pop over to Moreland. And I think I'll probably do the other races on my own. Should I? Should I? Uh, we'll do a couple of them. Well, you know, it, it, I'm trying to... Oh, look at this! Yeah, I'll do the other races on my own, because we're going to look at the Fortuna stuff. You guys have suffered enough watching me try to race. Look at all of this! Man! Oh, she's been, she's been finding those rainbows, this woman over here. All right, look at all of this. There's so many people here. And a lot of them are decked out for Fortuna. Which is like, oh, look, there's another one. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. There's so many pretty things. Look at the clovers. I really wanted those clovers so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, and I'm going to accept these friendship invites really quickly. And then let's see if I can just, wow, this is a beautiful horse. I think I want one of these horses in the future. Wow, she's gorgeous. All right, Tan, what is going on? So you're back in, oh, so Tan is just going to let us run the little race. I guess we'll go ahead and do that. There's a bazillion and a half people all over the place. <laughs> oh man. Everybody's got like all of the awesome gear on. I need to really get my act in order. I hope the rainbows are still around. Cause I really wanted to get like the bridal that has the flowers on it, which I just saw for the first time just now. And I really want the clovers. What has your guys' rainbow luck been like? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I want to know what your guys' rainbow luck has been like. I love, oh, I love that horse too. With the little dapple butt. <gasps> What's that? Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. There's so much stuff going on here. All right, go, Rose Stone, go. Go, 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 go. We're going to see what's going on. Oh my goodness, what's going on? There's like balloons all over the place. I want to go see that parade. That's so cool. How I think the parade goes off like once every hour. So I guess this is a good way to spend time until it's ready. All right. Race is done. That's some pretty cool dyed hair. All right. Let's come over here. All right. And yeah, we're slowly but surely moving up some levels. All right. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Because I think the Bobcat girls are actually supposed to tell you. Like, what's going on with the parade here? Huh. And she's not going to tell me. Loretta? Because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to help the Bobcat girls out. Well, we'll go look at the race in just a second. There's people everywhere, so there must be something about to go down. All right. This is your racing quota for, like, the next month, you guys. You don't have to sit through watching any more races after the races we do today. I promise. All right, but it is kind of fun to be able to show how I've gotten so much better. <laughs> or at least I think so. But Rose Stone, to really, really start doing well, as a lot of you guys have been pointing out, she's going to need better gear. Like, she does not have very good gear right now. As cute as the little Fortuna um, saddle is, it's not really helpful for giving her a big boost so we can get running. Oh, and I still love how beautiful this area is. All right, come on, Rose Stone. Don't slow down. What are you doing? And jump. All right. And keep moving. Keep moving. There we go. She is so pretty. She is so, so pretty. I really like that dapple butt horse, though. And I know that we will be needing a pony in the future. I'm thinking about getting myself the Lifetime Star Rider because you guys are so... I have to say, you guys, here's here's the, the wonderful thing you guys can hear me talk about while we finish up the race is how amazing the Star Stable community has been. You guys are some of the nicest commenters. You're the most supportive people. You are so kind. And I mean, there's so many, so many amazing communities I'm part of out there. But honestly, what keeps bringing me back to Star Stable again and again, other than the absolute beauty of everything and Rose Stone's gorgeous self and Thistledown, I'm so in love with Thistledown and watching him eat uh, his berries is how kind you guys are and how excited you guys are and how helpful you guys are and being like hey there's this quest going on or hey you can find um you can find such and such an event going on over here oh my gosh some of these oh it's a little little puppy this horse is huge it's a dappley butt too i like it too oh gosh where is loretta 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 you're drowning under horses 
Loretta, I thought you would have something to tell me. She didn't have anything to tell me, you guys. All right, well, fooey on that. Um, let's look around a little bit. I guess, do I not have enough reputation to have the quest? Or the quest over here? Let's come look. Oh, Rose Stone, you're getting faster. This is so cool. All right, so Fortuna, Fortuna. I saw something going on. I think it was over here, maybe? No? Yes? Maybe so? Yes, 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 yes. So there's something going on over here. Aha! Arya! Hey, Saga! This is the place where parade starts and, uh, where the parade starts, and it goes between Moreland and Fort Pinta once an hour for the whole week of the For Fortuna Festival here on Yorvik. Of course, us bobcats are going to be there the whole time. You should come along, too. All right! So, all right! So, once an hour, huh? I guess we'll come back? Huh. And I've heard that there should be like some quests and whatnot that we will um, be taking part in. Maybe if I look around a little bit more. Let's see. Well, I don't see anybody. Anybody, obviously, other than Conrad. And I know what Conrad wants. Woo, sorry. All right, let's see. Yeah, I don't see anything in particular. So maybe we're just not able to be part of it yet because we haven't done the parade or something. Hmm. This is just a suspicious number of people to be hanging out here if it didn't have something to do with the special event. But, all right. You know what, let's do one more thing. And then we're gonna go to the mall and we're gonna see if we can buy some new stuff for Rose Stone. <laughs> Hello, Josh. All right, and this is the last extremely painful day of racing things that you guys will, will have to endure. <laughs> there we go. I promise, I promise I'll do the rest of it totally off camera. Unless you guys for some reason really love this. For me, it's just like embarrassing, but maybe that's part of the love. No, Rose Stone, we've, we've been doing so good, Rose Stone. We've done so much better than this. And now people are watching and we're like, we'll never be able to show if this is the case. Okay, just have to, just have to keep going. There you go, Rose Stone, there you go. And then we really slow down, turn around, go, go, go. We need more command to really make you weave and, and get between, look at her. Look at her, Victoria Snowball there. She's got this. She's got this down. All right, but as you can see, I haven't been doing too terrible. At one point I had 51 whole seconds, which is only twice the amount that a lot of people do. All right, so not our fastest this time, Rose Stone, but that is okay. Because we have just done all of the races that I currently have available to me for her today. And I've been trying to just take a few minutes to do all of those every day with her. And what do you guys do to really help level your horses? Is it just going through the races? All right, and I'm going to go ahead and I am actually going to run us over and get us to the mall. And no rainbows in the sky, unfortunately. But I'm going to get us to the mall and then I will meet you guys there where we will do some quick shopping and hopefully get Rose Stone dressed up very nicely. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Oh, it's so pretty here. It's so pretty. All right, bye guys. All right, and we are here. Okay, okay. I don't think, oh my gosh, wait a second. Okay, I was going to say, I don't think there's any quests, and then all of a sudden I saw all these little yellow dots. All right, and we are here, and we are totally going to be running in here to try to find things to put on Rose Stone so that she can have some good gear. Hello, Alex. Glad to see you again. It was really fun when we did all of those mall quests, actually. And now we're coming back with significantly, oh my gosh, more money. Wow, that's pretty. Wow, these are pretty. Oh my gosh! Rose Stone! What are we even gonna dress you in? Is there like some sort of special event thing that you can you can roll by? Because Black Lotus Saddle, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Um, and then apparently what we want to really focus on are hopefully things that have a little bit of uh, swiftness, maybe some agility, I think, is what we wanted. And that is really pretty. Wow, Rose Stone! I think that she would probably- oh my gosh, this Black Lotus. I shouldn't be so in love with this Black Lotus, but I am, and I'm not high enough level. No, I really want it. I really want it. Um, so yeah, I think if it sorts by date, then that'll actually be like the new stuff. And I guess for the horses, the blue and yellow writing is like the new stuff. So um, holy moly, yeah. The Black Lotus stuff for Rose Stone, I definitely want to get that one day. And then there is the green and blue and green Captain Saddle stuff. And oh man, we're not high enough level for that either. 
Ah, uh, I'm not high enough level. Okay, let's try it by level. Uh, that's gonna have to be, that's just gonna have to be the way we go. All right, level six. I think I'm level nine now, level eight, nine. I can't remember. Yeah, apparently I'm level six. Good. All right, still level six. Let's go to the next page. We'll find out. Ooh, green spring salad level eight. <gasps> but that spring salad is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I know I am, I am level seven. So I can look at things that would help us out at level seven, pink and black Yorvik bridal. Um, and you guys have mostly said that like the good stuff is here at the mall. Um, man, but if I, should I just save up? Cause I really love this green spring saddle. How close am I to leveling up? <laughs> Let's actually check that really quickly. Are you kidding me? Okay, you guys. Okay. Um, all right, let's look really quickly. I am so close to leveling up, it's ridiculous. So, all right, if we're almost level eight, that's not close enough to get the Black Lotus Saddle, even though I desperately want it. And we should go by, let's see, alphabetical, highest price. No, let's go by level again. And then here, and let's look at the stuff that is available for level eight. So the green spring saddle would be two discipline, one strength. It's beautiful. I'm not sure if it's what we need uh, for her because I think we need swiftness. Um, let's see, or agility. And swiftness would definitely increase with the dark blue saddle. Let's see, orange harvest. This is level eight, level eight. Um, and I'm seven right now. Yeah, I think I'm seven. Sorry, I already forgot because I'm like so close. Uh, where's the closest one I can get? Yeah, so I'm seven, almost eight. So where does it top out? <gasps> Look at that saddle pad. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Why is everything I really want actually have to do with strength? Fooey, fooey. All right, well, we'll back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. The black lotus saddle, can't get that one. What about the red? Can't get that one. <laughs> Oh man, and the swiftness level three. I think I guess we need to get her this blue saddle because um, that would help her swiftness and maybe the blue bridle. So I'm going to have to look into that. Okay, you guys, or the rustic Yerlihim bridle, which is swiftness too. Actually, I like that better. And then pair it, I guess, with the dark blue saddle and then maybe we can get a nice blanket to go across. Strength and discipline. Uh, eggplant blanket, which actually gives you swiftness and discipline. So what do we have on right now? Just starter gear stuff. So that might be worth it. Same color as the, the vegetable eggplant. Um, and what about this purple champion? Swiftness and agility. Ooh. Ooh. Swiftness and agility would be a good thing to have. And we could get it next, next go. So yeah, I think we're going to go ahead. We'll go back. We will find something to level up. And then we will come in and we will get rose stone properly set up because I do have a few uh, star coins that we we could spend oh gosh and then this thing again oh it always makes me so dizzy oh I have such a fear of escalators <laughs> Even, oh look see she got eaten by an escalator my fears are justified <laughs> oh there's rose apple stone that is so funny because we we have like rose stone all right and then what about these pieces let's look at some of this stuff real quick I almost never look at these, so this is kind of this is kind of awesome. Um, and then the leg wraps, and I think most of them. Let's go by a level again. I think most of them are just. I think all of these are just for decoration. Yeah, I think almost all of these are just for decoration. So I do like the flowers, but yeah. So this is just for decoration. I'm not seeing anything that stands out to me as being like for Fortuna Fortune stuff um let's see what's downstairs and then clothes horse equipment horse accessories all right let's go downstairs and we'll just take a peek at clothes really fast just to see what's going on down here there's people running everywhere yeah rose apple stone of the eastern roses i think that she would get along well with rose stone or a horse all right and then clothes close close there we go still getting around in the mall it's so fun to like learn everything and have it all be new all right, we'll come up here. Hello, Zoe. And let's see. Because some of this stuff should help us when it comes to... Okay, so I'm guessing, yeah, like the, the purple spring stuff is the new stuff. Oh, man. 
<laughs> oh, we need to level up, you guys. We need to level up. So yeah, I think all the purple things are new. <gasps> Look at how cute. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. It would match my little my little carrot shirt. Okay, contest winner shirts. Let's see. I can get keep going, keep going. I want to see when, yeah, when the level maxes out and I'm not able to get this stuff. Okay, because this is probably the stuff that will start helping us out. Um, there's a dark gray skirt, riding three, jumping three. Here's a nice shirt, command plus four. Ooh, let's see. Well, we have riding three and jumping one, so that might help us more on the turns. What about these pants? So this would be writing plus two, command plus two. So that might be really useful actually. These pale blue writing pants, they look really cool too. Um, and I think this is just how you figure it out. And oh my gosh, orange dressage jacket. Writing plus five, command plus three. I think I want it. So we'll have to come back when we are level eight, you guys. And we'll just have to look through everything. Wow, these black winter boots. Yeah, we'll just have to look through everything and we'll have to figure out what may be riding plus five. What? What? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That one does that too. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out what may be the best for us to pick. And you guys probably have suggestions and I probably... <gasps> riding plus eight? Oh, that's level nine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you guys probably have some great suggestions, so I'll keep an eye out for them too. But all right, so now that we've spent a lot of time running around on races and looking in the mall, um, I promise next time will be more exciting. We will be going to that dormant volcano that we were invited to. So we'll be going to that dormant volcano, we'll be leveling up, and hopefully we'll be giving Rose Stone some awesome things. Oh wait, no, I'm nowhere close to leveling up. I just realized I was looking at my health, not my experience points. Why? <laughs> <sighs> All right, well, you know what? We're gonna go back and we're gonna get Rose Stone some nice gear and I will show it off to you guys next time. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>